uh, most of the publicity about the referendum uh, has emphasized uh, that, look, this is, this is democratic. Uh, to quote Seeks for Justice, the group that is organizing the referendum, uh, we believe in ballots, not bullets. What's wrong with democracy? Well, not, nothing controversial about that, except that there is. And uh, here, you, you'll forgive me if I go on just a little bit, because it involves some specifics. And it's always yes. important to produce evidence. And my point is this, that in its iconography, in its propaganda, throughout the referendum campaign for several years now, Seeks for Justice and its supporters have consistently praised, glorified, and held up as heroic the terrorist actions of Khalistanis back in the day. And, and I mean that they are specific. For example, when they began the campaign, they named what they called the Canada headquarters of the referendum campaign, the uh, Shahid Talvinda Parmar voting center. Parmar, of course, as you will know, was the mastermind of the Air India bombing, a shameless atrocity, a massacre of completely uninvolved civilians who had nothing to do with his struggle for an independent Khalistan and who were blown out of the sky on an Air India Flight 182 off the coast of Ireland. And they celebrate his name. They name, they, they choose him as the poster boy for the referendum campaign. Pama is, by a large measure, the worst mass murderer in Canadian history. That's quite, a, that's, that tells you something. That, and I, I'll just give you another couple of examples. Uh, uh, one would be the naming most recently of the voting center for the current round of voting in Brampton, a suburb of Toronto, Canada's largest city, uh, as the uh, Shahid Harjinder Para voting center. Who was Harjinder Para? Well, he was a Khalistani thug and killer uh, who notoriously was involved in the near fatal beating of uh, a, a fellow Sikh in uh, Toronto, who Balraj Deol, uh, who was in favor of the Longawal Agreement. He was calling for peace and for the crime of calling for a peaceful compromise. Uh, he was beaten nearly to death by a gang of thugs, including Para. Para then went on to uh, training with the Khalistan Liberation Force under Aftar Singh Brahma in Pakistan uh, in the late, uh, late 80s, in the 86, 87. Uh, and uh, he is pictured in video, uh, proudly uh, pledging allegiance uh, to Brahma, uh, training on heavy weapons, rocket launchers and the like. And he is featured again in the propaganda for the referendum campaign as a big hero and a martyr. Uh, also recently, the head of Sikhs for Justice, uh, Gurpatwan Singh Parun, of whom I'm sure you're aware. Right. Uh, he has uh, starred in videos uh, praising various other martyrs. He did a video, for example, I am Dilawa, who was Dilawa. Of course, you'll recognize the name. Uh, Dilawa Singh was the assassin who murdered, blew himself up, and murdered Bayan Singh, chief minister of Punjab in 1995. So yeah. time and again, and again, and again, and again, the supposedly ballots, not bullets theme is completely yeah. contradicted by their own propaganda in setting up this referendum. And this, I think, uh, only serves to remind people, particularly Sikhs, of, of the very heavy price that they paid for this violence and why they're not likely to be agitating soon for an independent state.